you guys? Welcome to another video of Sergio's Secret. I post videos on designer contemporary fashion and in the month of December I will be participating in Vlogmas y voy a un video cada día and today's video is going to be my favorite contemporary purchases of 2020. I'm usually picking 12 so I did a best my favorite luxury purchases of 2020 which is right here. I will insert that video down below if you're interested to watch. And today I'm just doing the contemporary version of it. It was very hard for me to pick a lot of these items, but I narrowed it down to my favorite purchases, some from a couple weeks ago and some that I purchased in the beginning of the year. I like to choose 12 because there's 12 months in one year, so I feel like I can kind of, like, kind of pick one per month. Maybe there are a lot of sales going on, so if I can find any of these items on sale, I'll make sure to leave them linked down below or any great sales that are happening currently at the day that I post the video. Just always check the links. And other than that, let's get started on today's video. First favorite purchase. Well, this wasn't a purchase. This was gifted by Pullen. I got to pick two of their bags earlier this year. And I picked that one right there. And I picked this one. And honestly, guys, this has been one of my favorite bags of 2020. I just, I love the color. I love the shape. I like how this is very discreet. Um, when I see somebody have a pull-in bag, I feel like it's kind of like a secret, like, oh, you know what pull-in is, because I know what pull-in is. And I've been seeing more people carry these bags here in Dallas, like, I would say, like, pretty consistently now. Like, I would say, like, maybe once a week, I maybe see, like, five people have pull-in bags, which is really weird, because in the beginning of the year, I never saw anybody, or even last year, saw nobody wear pull-in bags, but now I see a lot more people wearing them. I love the color that I have here. It has a back pocket. If it's your cards, you have this strap that you can remove, which I have removed before. Handle, feet at the bottom. Um, it has a little magnetic closure. You can actually give this bag more space. You can pop these babies out. And in el casi en cada bolsa, I always have stuff in here. So I have like a lollipop, a hand sanitizer, a little pocket in there. And it says Pullen made in Spain. This bag has been amazing quality. It's holding up really well, like at the bottom of the feet. Nothing has tarnished. It still looks gold. So I would say for the price point of the Pullen bags, I do think they're worth the money, especially if you don't want to get something that's a little bit more commercial. This is going to be still within a contemporary price point. It's still going to look nice. It's still going to look clean. And I think I pull it, I follow Pull It on Instagram and I saw that they're doing free shipping for the rest of the year, I believe. So if you are interested in purchasing a pull-in bag, I think maybe during right now, during the holiday season, is a great incentive. So this is going to be my first favorite purchase. I've used it quite a lot. I've taken it with me to several trips and I honestly have nothing negative to say about the pull-in bag. I I think it's just a beautiful seamless bag for every and i'm actually looking at purchasing this one in the larger size and the tricolor way i'll enter the picture here i think that tricolor goes really well with my style so i i may go ahead and purchase that here who knows but for sure this one right here i have been really enjoying in the year of 2020. my second favorite contemporary purchase of this year is the pair of shoes and these ones right here are the beige sneakers and these are the classic ones i have the all white ones i actually have these in three different variations what i like about beige is that they're comfortable b i like that kind of contemporary look i like i said beige has been more popular a bit more now but it's still not as mainstream like as a nike or an adidas so i like how you get that um, sneaker look but it's not super super like a popular shoe I like how people still come up to me and ask me what is Veja what is a Veja sneaker um, they're made really well and honestly um, they have not creased at all guys like I'm where I've worn these so many times and if you can see on the toe of the shoe like they have not had any major creases and I've worn these so much so I think that these shoes are highly well made a lot of my friends have these shoes like a lot I've given these shoes as gifts before and people love them I think they're a really great price point and if you want a nice shoe and I'm gonna be honest out of all my designer sne sneakers that I bought this year, or out of all my designer shoes that I have in my collection, I will say these are probably the most worn in my collection this year. This one with the combination of the other pairs that I have, I will say I've been wearing my beige sneakers and I've been 
more happier with my beige sneakers more than my Balenciaga sock shoe, my Gucci shoes, um, all my other designer sneakers. I don't really wear those as much and these ones I've been wearing so, so, so freaking much. So I would say that the beige sneaker was a really great purchase and they're really comfortable and they're unisex and I highly recommend them to any and everybody. These are my second favorite purchase. The third favorite purchase is the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. I got this about a month and a half, two months ago. I've been using this quite a lot. I do like this green color. I think it brings a nice contrast with like a cream, a black blazer, this. I like how it's very neutral, but I like just kind of like the little bit of the pop of the little bit darker green. This one is in the medium size, I believe, because they just came out with a small size. So now they have a small, medium, and large. It has a little Marc Jacobs patch. It has a zipper, it has a strap. I did a full video on the Marc Jacobs that tote bag, so if you're interested, I will leave that video down below. But this is a really great bag, under $200. And I've been using this one particularly a lot when I go to Starbucks and edit videos or go to a coffee shop. Um, probably, <laughs> I'm probably taking this bag when I edit this video. What I usually do is I just film a couple videos and then I just go to a coffee shop for like a couple hours and just kind of go through everything. And I like this bag because it's perfect. It fits my laptop, it fits my paperwork, it fits absolutely everything that I need to. And I like that it has the strap as well. And I like that the strap you can use on other bags because it doesn't have like Marc Jacobs or anything written all over it. But I would say that tote bag by Marc Jacobs has been definitely one of my favorite contemporary purchases of this year. And I think that this is well worth the money. And if you're looking for this bag, I would say why not coming in more colorways and kind of sizes and they keep coming with more colorways and different variations of them every single season so I think that this is a really great bag and I feel like this is a bag to Marc Jacobs so I'm glad that I have this in my collection. So this is going to be my fourth favorite purchase and it's going to be this Anina Bean Kaya blazer. I actually love this blazer so much that I just purchased the black one a couple of days ago and that's the one that I'm wearing right now. I actually have the old black Anina Bean blazer and I honestly prefer this one because I feel like it has more structure to it and I feel like it looks a lot more elevated but I wanted this blazer the moment it came out and I just waited and waited to find the perfect kind of sandy kind of blazer and I tried this on and I fell in love with it and I took it home with me. This is Anina Bing, it's one of my favorite brands. I recently started adding stuff into my collection this year alone and I just love Anina Bing's clothing, I love her style. I love a lot of her pieces and this blazer is in a size medium. I love the buttons, I like the color. It goes really well with my skin tone. It has a little bit of structureness. It has a little vent in the back. You guys know how I feel about blazers. I like them when they have a little slit in the back. I don't particularly like them when they're super seamless. I think that this was a really great purchase for a blazer. I'm a blazer person and for me to buy the same blazer in another color says a lot. So I will say that <laughs> now I'm kind of matching because I have the nude one, I have the black one and honestly this has been a really great purchase and I will see myself wearing these for the next couple of months or even the next couple of years. Since it has structured, it looks super elevated so I feel like I could get so much more out of it. So the Anina Bing blazer is a definitely yes for me. Big favorite purchase of this year. How could this not be a Serge Secret video without me mentioning my coach cap? So I have two of them right here. I have the black one, smaller one with all the three straps. And then I have the regular Cassie bag in the white color. And I've been saying this has been pairing really well with a lot of my outfits currently with a lot of like the winter white. Like I'm, I bought some pair of white jeans. I've been wearing a pair of white jeans for the longest and I've been wearing that with this. I have Gucci loafers in white and they've been really pairing well with this Coach Cassie. I will be saying like I did really enjoy using this one earlier this year a lot but I feel like I'm slowly transitioning more into this one for this type of season maybe because it's a winter white. But I will say the Coach Cassie handbag collection has been such a great purchase for me this year. I love both of them so much. So I'm including this one as a little two-in-one because I honestly can't pick whichever one. I go through phases through a lot of things. Like I said earlier this year, I was really in love with this one. And I still am. But I feel like the, the original Coach Cassie is the one that I'm gravitating towards more. And I love the uh, kind of ivory color. And I gave one away as a giveaway. And she ended up loving the handbag so much. So I would say nothing negative about the Coach Cassie bags. I think that they're phenomenal bags and you got a lot of bang for your money. So I would say that these are really great everyday handbags to add into your collection. And like I said, even the white one, when I see it here in the lighting, it actually looks really good. It's not dirty at all. And so if you're looking for the white one, I think it's a really great one. I believe the white one went on sale. So if it's still available, I'll try to find it down below. 
but the Coach Cassies uh, were just a no-brainer, had to be added in this video. Next favorite purchase are, well, these ones were in a collaboration with Sam Edelman, so I get, did get gifted these shoes, but I have been wearing them non-stop. These are the Sam Edelman Daily Boot. I love the chunky sole. I love just everything about them. Like, if you see me on Instagram, like, out of all the pictures recently, I've been wearing these shoes. These are Sam Edelman. These ones are made in Italy. These ones are in a size 40. I just love the way they make me feel. I like how they bring me up to that six foot. I feel very skinny. I feel super confident when I wear them. I love the chunky sole. These boots a lot with my Prada nylon reissue. So it's been a, like a little bit of a nice color. I also have a discount code, I believe, with them. So if you want these boots or just anything from Sam Edelman, if you call the North Park store in Dallas, it has to be that store. And you say Sergio 15, you get 15% off your purchase. And if you're not in Dallas, they can ship to you for free. And it's not an affiliate link, so I don't get anything from it, but it's just an incentive that 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 I have from there. But I do really like these boots a lot. Like I said, I've been wearing them so much. I love the added height. I like how they're very clean. I've always been a fan of a Chelsea boot in general. So the fact that these are more of a 2020 kind of elevated version of it with the chunky lug sole has been nothing but yes. And I get compliments and every single time I post them on Instagram, I always get DMs on you guys asking me about these boots. And these are the Daylin boots. Highly recommend them. One of my favorite shoes of this year alone. So I highly, highly, highly recommend them. And yeah, so this one is my favorite boot purchase of this year. My favorite purchase of this year is the Troy Birch Walker satchel. I bought this during the summertime and I've been completely in love, completely obsessed with this bag. Like I said, I normally don't buy bags when they release, but when I saw this one, I just went ahead and bought it. And I will say, I think in the video when I showed this earlier this year, I said that I wouldn't wear it with the clochette, but now that it's more fall, and this is more of a fall color in my opinion for my wardrobe, I actually prefer wearing it with the clochette. I think it adds a little bit more personality. I like that it has feet in the bottom. I still feel like it's a small bag, but you still can fit muchas cosas adentro. It has a little magnetic closure. It has a strap that you can make as a crossbody or shoulder bag. And I also like that the interior is a brown Safiano leather. So what I like about that is because you can wipe clean if anything gets dirty, but also at night when I'm looking for my keys, when I'm looking for something, I feel like the brown interior, I can find things a lot faster, especially like when I'm like when I'm pumping gas and stuff and at night. I like to be in and out, so I like that get in a cafe so I can just kind of see where everything is at. It has a middle compartment and here, and I just, I don't really tend to keep a lot in the middle compartment. I'm going to be honest, I'm a very hands-free person, so I like my thing to be easy to grab, so... I normally don't put a lot in the zipper. I mean, put just my wallet in there, but like my keys and my other things, I just kind of put it just to kind of, you know, just grab it and then take it out. But I will be saying this bag looks really great. It looks like it's brand new from the store. Like even the feet at the bottom look pretty decent. Like I have nothing negative to say about this Walker satchel. And this is probably one of my favorite Troy Birch purchases. Honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This is probably my favorite Troy Birch handbag of this year. And I purchased quite a few of them. There's a very, very second runner up that I'm about to show you next. But this is probably my favorite Troy Birch bag just because I've had it for a longer period of time and I use it a lot more. And I like that it's not soft on leather, but it still has a, a nice structure. So it has nothing on it. I'm just carrying it with one of my hands and it still has a uh, structure to it. So this is probably my favorite Troy Birch handbag purchase of this year alone. Eighth favorite purchase is going to be the Troy Birch Eleanor handbag. So this one right here, I just added into my collection less than two weeks ago. I've been wanting this bag since it came out, but I finally purchased the handbag and I have nothing negative to say about the bag. But since, since you know, normally uh, right now I'm really using this one a lot, but I have used the Walker basically the entire year. So that one is my favorite and the one that I use the most this year. But this one's a very close runner up. So as you can see, it is in a smooth leather. I love the TT hardware on it. I like that it's not shiny. It's more of a kind of brass gold hardware on it. I like the sides of it. Like it's just a very clean and minimal bag. And I feel like that's the style that I'm heading towards in 2021 and going on to the future. I feel like my style is definitely evolving and this Troy Birch bag is going to easily carry me on into my next phase in my wardrobe. And I like the clasp. I like that it's easy so when I check out, it's just easy to put in your stuff. You can just throw it in, clasp with the bag and you are good to go. So as far as the strap, what I like about this strap is that you can actually carry it as a 
crossbody and shoulder bag so it looks really great as a crossbody bag it looks really great as a shoulder bag long or you can double it up and it also looks great as a smaller shoulder bag these the leather has been holding up pretty well i noticed smooth leather but in the camera it looks pretty pretty careful with smooth leather but then life happens but it looks pretty good like i have nothing bad nothing bad to say about the eleanor flat bag on the inside it has a brown interior all of you guys let me know that some of them have green interior some of them have black interiors it says troy birch new york and it's really really pretty brown color zipper and everything so i have nothing negative to say about this bag so far the only thing is that it is smooth leather that you do have to be careful but other than that i think that this is a great purchase i know this is more of a premium price tag for toy birch but i do like the amount of the amount of elegance and elevation that this handbag brings and so this will easily go into next year's collection as one of my favorite bags and i know during the spring and summer this will also be one of the bags that i'll be carrying a lot so the toy birch eleanor flat bag um, is a definitely another handbag that i have to put onto this list my favorite purchase is this veronica beard blazer so I've always wanted the classic black scuba Veronica Beard Blazer. So as you can see, it is black. It's scuba. It's in a size 8. But what I like is that it has a nice amount of structure to it. And it has a nice weight to it. But it's not super, super heavy. I like the zippers right here. This is the perfect travel blazer. This is the perfect everyday blazer i like that it has the slit here but what i also like is that this goes with dickies so what is a dickie so veronica beard offers dickies that you can put you can zip these in throughout the jacket and you can wear a gray one as a hoodie i have one here that's green but they have them in leathers and cashmere and so many different textures and you can put these throughout the veronica beard dickie blazers and even the ones that aren't black like the colorful ones you can put all these type you can mix and match them and the possibilities are really endless and so when I bought this one, I knew that I wanted to add it and I waited, I waited and during quarantine, um, Nordstrom did this blazer for 40% off. That's when I went ahead and purchased it because I knew that, you know, I will probably not come across that good of a deal ever again. So when it was 40, I knew that I had to buy it and I purchased it and I think it's worth every single penny. Little buttons here, like I get a lot of compliments on this blazer and since it's at scuba, I feel like it hugs me and it looks super, super flattering. And like I said, I also like that it has the Dickies in here as well. So I will say that this is another one of my favorite blazers of this year is the Veronica Beard Scuba Blazer. My favorite purchase is from Ghani. And Ghani has like a lot of nice, it's basically, I feel like they have like the designer look, but it's also not super, super expensive and super pricey. Now I did see this pop up on the Nordstrom Rack website. So if I could still find it, I'll leave it linked down below. And when it came out, when, when I bought it, a lot of you guys were asking me, but it had sold out. So it's this little leopard jacket. I've always wanted kind of like a leopardy jacket. And when I saw this one and the fit and everything, I I just knew that I had to have it. It has Ghani here in the back, but even like I said, if it didn't have that, I would have still purchased it because I just love the fit of it so much. And I've never really been a fan of like a lot of printed items, but I knew that I wanted to add a leopard item and I've been wearing this all summertime. I've been wearing it right now. I took this with me to LA. I took this to me when I was in Denver. So it's created a lot of memories. It's holding up really good. It looks brand new as the day I got it. So material, so I will take kind of like a leopard denim jacket has been a definitely yes purchase for me and I highly recommend it. So hopefully, fingers crossed that this one is still available. But I do like on the jacket. I think this one is a really great purchase for me in 2020 because it definitely has been taking me out a little bit out of my comfort zone. And then my last two favorite purchases, I have them right here. They are also by Troy Birch. You guys just know that I'm a big Troy Birch fan. I've been wearing Troy Birch since I was a freshman in high school. Like I had Troy Birch belts, wallets, and everything. So me and my mom are big Troy Birch fanatics. So it comes to no surprise. Uh, four of, out of the 12 items are going to be Troy Birch. And so the 11th favorite item are the Troy Birch sneakers. And these I believe are called the Howl sneaker and mine's in a size nine. These ones do run a little bit big. What I like is that these ones were comfortable the moment that I wore them. The sole on here are super comfortable. They're super nice. I will say that these ones were a lot better to break in than the Vejas. The Vejas did like eight hour, 10 hour wear. 
for them to be comfortable after that but after i wore the beiges they were fine but these ones right out the get-go they fit so well i love that it's a very clean sneaker yes it has three birch here but you can't really see it with the laces and i like the little t in the back i feel like it just it adds a little bit of the branding but it's not in your face because it's super clean up in the front these are such a high quality shoe like i said the sole and everything i just think that these ones were a really great purchase like i said toy bridge is one of my favorite brands and i've been wanting one of their sneakers for the longest but i just didn't like the colorways i didn't like the variations and i wasn't just gonna buy one just to buy one so when the perfect all white sneaker came out earlier this year i knew that i wanted them and i purchased them probably a month or a month and a half after they came out and i did pay full price for these because i did want these really 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 bad but yes, these are the Tory Burch white sneakers and I am absolutely in love with them and I can say nothing negative about them. Last purchase is my favorite SOG. Well, I think I've only made two SOG purchases this year. I purchased this Tory Burch little card case and then I just recently purchased another one. But this one's the one that I've been using practically all year. So this is the Tory Burch Walker card case. So what I like is that it's pebbled leather. It has the iconic kind of T logo. But what I like is that you can put all your cards here. So like I said, I'm usually the type of person on the go. I like how this is super seamless because there are days where I don't carry a handbag. So this one fits in my pocket in my denim pocket or like in my jacket super well and it doesn't it's not too bulky i like that i can put like my id i can put some cards and i'm out the door and on the inside here i can also put like a little bit more stuff in here and what i like is that it's just super nice it's super easily like i said i've had it for a lot it's been through wallets it's been on the concrete floor i dropped it before and it literally looks phenomenal it looks really great the tea and nothing has chipped it's been like i said holding up it literally looks bright Troy Birch walker card case has been a really great purchase this has been through a lot of my handbags a lot of different styles this has been through a lot of my handbags and wearing it just solo and i have nothing to say about this and i know when you guys purchase this you guys tell me that you really really like it i i'm just really happy with this card case and i have nothing negative to say about this and i will be doing a giveaway soon so stay tuned for that maybe something something like this will be um featured in it but i do love the toy birch card case and yeah guys those are going to be my 12 favorite contemporary purchases of this year i had quite a bit of little bit of third pieces i had some shoes some handbags and i'm just really happy with the style and the direction my style is heading towards i feel like it's i felt like i started this year off with like a lot of basics and i did like that but i feel like i'm adding you know a lot of basics and a lot of things that i like but then just adding a little bit of fun to it so i like the nice combination that it's bringing to so i'm very excited to see where my style would go on for the rest of december and for the rest of the year i'm very very excited to see how it will go or how life will go so all these items i love i loved earlier this year i love now and i will love into 2021 what your favorite purchase was this year was it a handbag was it a pair of shoes was it even something from for the kitchen or something for the bathroom i would love to hear it down below for you guys Patolo down below and yeah guys i'm posting a video every single day for vlogmas so make sure to stay tuned for another video tomorrow thank you thank you thank you muchísimas gracias por mi video and i'll see you guys on the next one i love each and every single one of you and take care